Right. Our Houston firefighters do so much for our city, keeping us safe and also giving back to the community. They sure do. And now their 2022 calendar is back, raising money for their charitable foundation and the Burned Children's Fund. Here with more is Marty Langton, president of the Houston Firefighters Professional Association. Marty, it is so good to have you back on Houston Life. It's been 2017 the last time we had you on. It feels like forever, but uh, we're absolutely proud to be here. Thank you all for having us. This is our first public uh, appearance for the calendar, so it's very exciting that we get to share it here with you. We're so glad that you're here and part of this story, of course, the charitable uh, component to this calendar, but y'all took a break for several years. It's been since 2017 that you've had the calendar. Um, congratulations on bringing it back, and I would imagine it's it's not an easy feat to put together. I, I would say that uh, all the people that made this happen would tell you that it was absolutely not easy, but it is worth it. And this is something we're proud of. 2017 this is the first time it has been produced. We're excited about it. Uh, you'll see the firefighters throughout the show. Uh, they've done amazing work to get to this point, and it's all for a great cause. Well, the firefighters are such good sports, and I know we like to joke and laugh with them and objectify them uh, for the one time during <laughs> the year, right? It all really is for a fantastic cause and for people who are unfamiliar explain how the proceeds are used well the, all the proceeds uh, go to not only the charitable foundation of the association uh, but we have kind of absorbed as a subsidiary the Houston firefighter burn children's fund and that goes to children who have been burned garments uh, prosthesis different things throughout their life uh, that's been there since 1993 and so we're extremely proud to not only bring back the calendar but to make sure that the proceeds go uh, to help not only firefighters and their families but the children uh, that are affected by uh, burns. What I think is so remarkable when I first heard about this story uh, many years ago with the calendar is when you all are on a scene, right, and, and you see the fires and, and, and that's the, sort of the last time for these firefighters to have a memory of um, the injuries that happened to these children. This is a way for them many times to reconnect and see how they're doing today. You know, it's not often that firefighters get to see, like you said, after. Uh, we have to go to people on their worst day, right. have to figure out what we're going to do to save them, uh, and then go back and do that about 15 to 16 times a day. Uh, these firefighters, the men and women of the Houston Fire Department, in my opinion, are the bravest uh, men and women I have the pleasure of serving alongside with. And uh, to be able to see uh, and to help families and children that are burned, I think is something that I can't possibly describe, uh, but is something that we get to interact and see those that are affected uh, by terrible tragedies and help them and make it a little bit easier. And in addition to helping the Burn Children's Fund, the HPFFA Charitable Foundation, this has been around for almost 10 years and this essentially helps firefighters and their families with expenses in case of a disaster, correct? That's right, not only in case of a disaster, but uh, a traumatic illness, injury, uh, and God forbid, line of duty death. Uh, or if we have an active firefighter uh, that is struggling or has passed away, uh, we're here to help the firefighters. We're here to make their jobs easier so they can get out there and serve the citizens of Houston and uh, I'm proud of the work that our board has done with this foundation uh, not only the gala but this uh, producing of this new calendar but ultimately we're here our mission is the men and women and to serve them and to make sure that we can be there when they need to call 911 when they need help absolutely and how can we uh, do this and how can we get the calendar because it's available right now everybody needs a calendar sure. for next year and these are great gift items too so we can support the cause well you can go on www.houstonsbravest.org right now and you can order the calendar online uh, there's a QR code on the back here I don't know if they can zoom in on it but I'm told uh, and I'm not technology <laughs> <laughs> that if you zoom in, you can take a picture with the camera, and that will also take you to uh, the website as well. But uh, we encourage everybody, uh, get it as a stocking supper. Get it because uh, you want to help those in need. But ultimately, this is a good, uh, not only event to raise funds, but it's fun for the holidays, and it's going to a great cause. Yeah, and it really does make such a great, unexpected, fun gift to open on Christmas morning. Marty Lungton, it's great to see you. It's Thanks good to see you as well. Thank you guys for having us, and we look forward to seeing the rest of them uh, later on in the show. Yeah, we've got yeah. a few more firefighters to meet and figure out what month they're in as well. It's great to see you, Marty, and continued good work, too. Uh, Houston'sBravest.org is the website. There's all the information there on the screen, $25 and then $5 shipping. It's a great gift by multiple for sure. And more firefighters on the way.